Hey guys and welcome back, my name is Snowda and today we are playing Euro Truck Simulator 2. In the last video I said that we were buying a truck and that is the first thing that we are going to do today. So, I did get a request that we got a Volvo truck even though I didn't display that last time so I must really love Volvo. Okay, so the bank is now letting us get loans of up to 500,000 euro. So, let's take this loan out. You. Okay, now we're in serious debt. Okay, so this looks like it's the truck. It's the cheapest of the range. So let's customize configuration. How much horsepower? 540. Man, I can't wait till we get to level 16. We're going to have so much fun. Okay, so I think that blue there looks quite nice. So, um, yeah, that was a really good suggestion for a color. I really like that. What is this? This is amazing. I've got little cars. Wait, that is one expensive car. Oh my. Wait a minute. I nearly did something bad. That's the old truck. I think I was told, yeah, I was told to get this one. It's around the same price, but it looks newer. So, it also looks a lot nicer. So, jeez, that was close. I nearly wasted my money. Okay, so we'll have that nice light blue color. I reckon that looks like a nice truck. Okay, confirm. There we go. Okay, so that was that was a close one. So we'll buy this truck. Oh, does it look like with lights? Okay, we're gonna add a lot more lights to that in the future. Was that is pathetic? Oh, back at our favorite place. Woo! Okay, it's, it's a nice video. I actually like the truck a lot. That's that's a very good truck. Even the um cap on like that little tank on the back is blue. <laughs> oh my god, I hate our shed. This place is horrible. What is inside? That's that's hideous. Oh, at least it has automatic doors. Man, what what the hell am I keeping in here? This is horrible. This only holds one driver. That's a great excuse to upgrade our garage. Let's upgrade our garage. There we go. Yes! Yes, finally we've got rid of the horrible thing. We have got a proper garage and it now has multiple doors. Oh, this this is fancy. I like this. This is what a garage should look like. You don't run a truck business from a broken, rundown shed. You run it from a big shed that is nice and new. Thank you. That was great. And a lot of money also. Oh, jeez. I'm running out of money. Okay, so that's quite cheap. Let's purchase that. Uh, no, I don't want to drive my truck. Um, and we'll put that in our garage. Thank you for your purchase. We will deliver your newly bought truck to your garage in London immediately. Oh, immediately. Good service. I like this place. Okay, so now we are at the recruitment agency so we can hire a driver. Okay, these guys are pretty weird. You probably have the most stats, so you're good. The driver will arrive shortly and after they get settled, they will start working automatically providing they have a truck to drive. Yep, you got a truck to drive. Whoa, who the hell is this? No, we can't fall for that. Okay, job market. This is the big moment. Um, let's go freight market. Okay, I think that's the best deal. So let's sit, set the GPS. Oh, this is different now that we have our own truck. We have to drive to the um, place to actually pick up our trailer. It's not just like we appear there and it's hooked on already. And I'm actually so happy to say that our junk has been... Moved out here instead of the shed. It is actually so good to have a proper shed. I mean, anything is better than what we just had. Okay, let's get in our truck. There we go, we're in. Where do we have to go? Down this way? Okay, so that means crossing. You're clear. You're good enough. Wait, which lane are you in? Don't be in my... Get out of my lane. Oh my god, I wasn't even meant to turn there. Anyway, let's go on the footpath. Sorry, guys, I just mis got mistaken for everything and turned a bit early. Anyway, let's let's head over and yeah, good old shortcuts. Okay, just don't do that in real life. You'll get in a lot of trouble. Oh, we gotta turn on our wipers. Oh, there we go. Job offer select. Yes, very nice. Let's go here. Oh, uh, we were taking this, weren't we? Now, I think reversing onto trailers is actually quite a delicate thing to do, and I'm going to stuff it up here. Oh, <gasps> we did it. We did something. We good? Well, no, don't reverse. 
Okay, I think we've actually picked up a trailer. That's so good. Look at us go. Look at that. Beautiful. Now we can head out on our delivery and hopefully exceed the speed limit. So guys, in the earlier videos um, of this Euro Truck Simulator game, I was talking about how it would be really cool in like VR to play this game. And I found that you can play this game on um, Oculus like technology and it will let you just play it all in VR and I don't really know how that works and I know that it costs a lot of money though and I've also got a um, I now have a VR headset but it's one where you put your phone into it and then you stream your computer screen to your phone and it it actually works quite nicely and I mean I've I've played some games with it but yeah there are a few problems I mean in this it's it doesn't go down into a low enough resolution for my screen to be able to like see everything clearly. So when I play truck sim in it, um, I couldn't really read my speedo or the G. I could manage to see the GPS though, so I guess that's all I really need. But um, also with the head movements, it was a bit jumpy at times. But in other games, I've got it to work fine, and I can play VR now. So. It was actually only $50, and now I can play pretty much any game in VR. It doesn't have to be a game that's built for VR. Like, I could just do my work on my computer and use my VR headset as a screen. I mean, it's actually quite good. I can't wait till we get to level 16 and we can get that engine, because we will be flying down this place. And also, we'll probably be getting a lot of speeding tickets, so... I guess it all kind of equals out in the end. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Turn off those wipers. There we go. Okay, we're in gear 11. What speed are we going? Okay, we're nearly going at a 100 kilometers per hour or 60 miles. Oh my god, this truck is actually really fast. So, thank you for that suggestion. That was a good truck to pick. And also, I like the color. It's very beautiful. Yeah, but also, I can't play this game on highest graphics, unfortunately. Like, I can play it, except the frame rate is really bad, and then that creates lag. So when I turn my steering wheel, then I, like, have to wait a little bit before it actually turns in the game. And that can, like, really put you off when you're driving and all that. So, yeah, I've had to lower the graphics. So, sorry, guys. And when this game did first come out, I could play it with graphics on the highest settings. And it was really, really, really beautiful. Like, you could see sun shafts coming in through the window... Uh, oh, it was lovely, but yeah, they've updated the game and now it's just become a bit more complex and my computer's getting older as time goes on and it's not running this stuff anymore, so yeah. Oh my god, there's a speed camera. We just, dude, we maxed, we maxed out our speedo, so I'm happy with this truck. Oh, I hate those corners so much. Well, actually, I don't hate them. I mean, they're fun as, but... If, was, they're fun because you feel like you're going to roll your truck, and then they're not fun because you do roll your truck. So, yeah. Okay, let's just indicate over here. There we go. Are you ready for this, guys? Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm honking my horn right now. And it's actually a nice horn, because you hop in some trucks, you honk the horn, and it's just like... Eep! And I mean, it's absolutely horrible. It sounds like you've got some little motorcyclist or a little scooter just going past you and honking uh, no one can take you seriously but anyway it's going to be different now that we have our own truck i mean we'll get so much more money for from all of our deliveries and also we'll have to pay for our own fuel and that's going to suck and also we have to sleep more it was like last time we finished the delivery and then go to your next it like resets and I, it doesn't do that anymore now that we have our own truck so there's, it's, it's got its pros and cons, but overall, I prefer getting more money. Dude, why are you stopped on a roundabout? What is going on? No, no, you stop. I mean, don't stop, you go. <laughs> what am I saying? Oh, the graphics on that was horrible. Like, can I go? Are you, are you going that way? Or are you going? Yeah, you got, you're all going that way. You're not going... Oh, God. Whoa, that was close. Go, go, go. Floor it. Okay, this is the problem with a truck. You have to wait for, like, the biggest gaps on a roundabout. Whoa, that bus was close. Yeah, you have to wait for the 
biggest gaps. Why is everyone stopping it? What is going on? Oh, that's why everyone's stopping. Okay, so we got some nice big digger and our shiny new truck, which I really like. Really, really like it. Oh, I was also saying, like, I really, really love being able to have your, like, GPS turned off. Like, this, this one turned off. Because I just find that more realistic. And most, most like, bottom-of-the-range trucks don't have a GPS built into them. Like, you have to upgrade your cabin and then that costs heaps. And I think, like, redoes your paint job. And it's all a lot of effort. But having this with a GPS at the start, that is a really, really good thing. Now, off to... Where are we off to? Are we off to Amsterdam? I don't even know where we're going. Think we're going to Amsterdam? Current job... Oh, no, to Rotterdam. So it'll be quicker than Amsterdam. That's good. Oh, I hate this. It says 50 there. I'm so used to going 50 miles because I just drove in the UK. But now it's actually 30 miles being 50 kilometers. And I always, like, struggle driving on the right side of the road when I go over to different places and there's just so many different rules actually I was talking about the graphics before being really having to be really low bef because like my computer couldn't run it but now I remember it was not like that because my computer couldn't run it my graphics are on low because I was testing this game out with a VR headset and like oh no wipers turn off Okay, um, yeah, so I was testing this game out with my, um, VR headset, and it was, like, a bit glitchy and stuff when I turned my head, so I thought maybe if I lowered the graphics, it might help with the streaming quality and all that, but it actually didn't help, and I've forgotten to turn the graphics back up, so, yeah, we'll get to look at some grass without any texture. Woo, it's pretty smooth grass. Okay, so we are nearly at our destination, just around the corner here. And also, this is where the speed cameras are. I hate this place. Like, they don't even tell you. Like, every every other place, it's got signs everywhere saying, Speed cameras, speed cameras, slow down. What are you doing? Slow down. But, like, you get here, and then they just have these little poles up ahead. Yep, so this big banner thing is just stacked up with cameras. Are we speeding? Oh, we were speeding. Damn, that was close. Any cars? Yes, there's cars. Be polite. Yes. Yeah, I know I know that was completely wrong. I do know my road rules. Okay, so don't don't complain when I do something like that. But this is a game and I like to have my fun as well, so please just footpaths cutting other cars off. It's part of how I do things. Anyone down there? Hello. No. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Three. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's going to count down and show you how good I was, but that didn't work for me. Okay, don't scrape the gutter. Please don't scrape the gutter. Yes. Very nice. And can we go again. Okay. Yep, great. Let's go over here. Stick my head out the window. Okay, that could be enough. I'm not sure. I'm not very good at this reversing stuff. Okay, we'll just straighten that up. There we go. Okay. Now let's slow ourselves down a bit. Man, we're flying. Okay, straighten up again. Okay, so that's pretty good, I reckon. So what have we got here? We got... Yeah, that's that fits. And man, I like that truck so much. It's just so modern and just the colour. Oh, I can't wait till we have enough money to customise it. We can, like, get some rims on it and... I don't know, like, a bull bar and heaps of lights. Oh, God. Okay, anyway, let's drop off our trailer. Enough rambling on about stuff. And drop off. Yes, lower my legs. Good. Okay, so, um... We did get paid a bit more, I think. Can't remember what we used to get paid. But anyway, that's still some money. And skill rank 3, so that's good. And yeah, being level 3, I get more money. And excellent job, let's go. Okay, so now that we own our own truck, and it's ours, 
We have to pay for fuel. We have to... Okay, oh, look at this little bottle cap. I love how it's blue. I don't know if it's always blue or if it's because we chose a blue paint, but it's it's beautiful. Anyway, um, so since this is our truck, we have to pay for the fuel. We have to pay for the tires. We have to pay for all the wear and tear. Let's check our diagnostics. Yes, no damage. Okay, so we have actually probably a little bit of damage, but it's all less than 1% on all of these parts. So that's good. We, we're actually... Wait, we have money. We have money. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. And thank you to the guys who chose, like, what truck to get and what color. That was actually really helpful. And also, leave your thoughts in the comments about what we can do next time. I mean, we could... I don't know, since we got our own truck, we can actually go anywhere. So, if you got a town that you want me to drive to... And please don't be like the other side of Europe. But if you have another town that you want me to drive to, I mean, I can go there and... We can just check out places, we can just do more deliveries, whatever you guys want. So, thank you so much. My name's Snowder, and I'll see you next time.